Good morning, good morning. Welcome to my channel. Today is day 99, guys, for the 100 day project. I thought what we might do um, for day 99, because tomorrow we're going to show all the things we actually make. I might do that on that side. I might cut that off because I want to play with that. Um, I figured we might make some tape, guys. Um, I really don't know what I'm doing, but anyway. I have mucked around a bit this morning with swatches. Um, not for long, because oh, my back is just crazy. Crazy. So... I don't know. I'm just going to keep this simple, right? Might get it a bit closer. I just thought maybe I might um, working with tape and watercolour is the same, guys. Just don't overload the water. That's what I reckon. Anyway, I'm going to whoops. Put it on some, I like using this paper, right? Because it peels off easy and it's easy store. And I thought if you tea, um, you know, stain it with some tea stain, you'll see this better. And it looks good too. I didn't do it with the other one. Right. Um... Um, 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 um. Making washi swatches would be interesting. Um, what I've done this morning, just quickly. I don't know if you can see that. I've done those. I've done those. And done those. It's not quite dry, right? And I like that sort of stuff. But I thought... It's not dressed up enough for me, you know, like the tape. So, I thought, I don't know if this ink will work because I can't find the other one. Um, look, I don't think it needs to be waterproof. Oops. Oh, this is white. Ooh, 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 ooh. I forgot I had white. Oh, no, you can't see. Oh. <laughs> wrong way. No, you can't see it. No. No, 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 no. So, I don't know where my darker ink pad is. Um, This one's near empty, but anyway, it'll do. And all I'm going to do is stamp on it, guys. Oops. Oh. See, it's not dark. doesn't matter it'll still do the job We've got it to make washi don't we and I like mine with a lot of background so I'm just going to keep doing that and this is actually waterproof You won't be able to see these completed till tomorrow. Look, you can use a heat gun to dry it. And then you've got swatches in the washi. Um, we might make some swatchy um, papers as well. Um, I don't know. See how I feel, guys. I'm, I'm just not feeling it today. Look, I just try and use less water and I use a tray to mix in. And you can have squares, less water. That's what I try and use. Um, I don't worry about whether my colours are crashing into each other. I oh, just don't, guys. Make some squares, right? 
it's a bit harder on the tape, but they look good, guys. But don't overwater them. It does work. So don't think it doesn't. Like I said, I don't... Look, anything I do, I don't stress the process out. I might get another bit of... Just dip your brush in the paint to have less water and don't keep putting it in the... Um, these will be okay, you know. See, some of them have got too much water, but they'll be okay. I love my water colours. I really do. And I tend to just blend whatever colours I want. But I love this tray. I really do. Um, I will rinse my brush this time because I am wrecking my colours a bit. And I'm going to get a bit of white. And I like doing that, guys. I like getting the white and just blending it in a little bit, you know. Because that's what I like to do. <sighs> And I love how this dries. If you let it dry naturally, it dries beautifully. Oh, I really like it. But try not have too much water. I'm just going to mix a bit in there. And we're going to do a circle. Circles are easy to do. Just use the tip of your brush. I'm going to wet it a bit and go in with that one. Look at that. And like so, you can make them bigger. Like so. I like, I might use that. Oh, that's a bit... And I don't overthink it, guys. I just roll in. And I don't care if my colours are mixed. I'm not a watercolour artist, right? So anything I do um, is for the fun of it. I just enjoy the process. I'm going to... I love this. And then I'm going to just go like so. This is just a fun, easy project for me because I'm really not up to much. And I thought, you know, for day 99, I'm going to wash the brush out a bit. My water's dirty. And look, like I said, I don't really stress how something's going to look, you know. It's not about that. We're junk journalists. And I might put a little bit of that in it because it will give it a bit of... Oh, I like that. See, my brush is a bit wet. So try not have a wet brush. See how quick it is to do the circles? You can literally do quite a bit in half an hour. And I'm just going to go through these and just put a bit of colour in them. Because that's what I like to do. Just gives me that shade at look sometimes, you know, when I like that. And it's amazing how colours turn out, you know what I mean? Normally, I just mix the colours in my pan. Oh, no, I use an Indian pan. You notice I like blue, but it just changes. Let me mix that up a little bit more. Oh, that's a square. And then when it dries, it's going to leave... Um, 
locker shadow. All right, for that one, we're going to put that aside and let it dry. And we might do some paper. I'll just find a spot for this. And what I like to do, guys, and I find is really good, um, just find some scrap. Oh, I had my scrap. Where did it go? Uh, where did it go? I work on any surface, right? Any surface. I love vintage book pages. I love blue, so you'll see me use lots of blues. Lots of blues. And I love it on these book pages. See, so I just use the tip, the tip of my brush to form the circles. I'm not a watercolour artist, guys, but I love mucking around with watercolours. I have attempted to make flowers, but I'm no good at it. I'm truly aren't. I'm not even bothering to mix in my tray. Just give that a bit of... I love it, love it, love it. These take a few days to dry if you leave them... I mean, a few, day, few hours to dry if you let them dry naturally. I love that. Okay, book pages. Now, I get my tray. This is a thicker... Um, I'm just seeing if, if you can see me. This is a thicker paper. So you can go to town and make um, deep water. Even that, that will dry beautiful, right? See, I love the blues. Um, I really do. I love the blues and I love that colour. And if you've got tracing paper, tea bags, it works on them. You just got to make sure that your um uh what do you call it uh paintbrush is not overloaded with water you need to really reduce the water but watercolor works on anything like i said for swatches if you were doing pictures well it's a little bit harder guys if you were making a flower or something like that um then it's harder. I just love playing. I went too far down with that one. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, what else have I got here? Oh. Tea stained um, tracing paper. And this works well, guys. Again, we might stick to blues for now. And then we can lighten it as we go. And I love working with tracing paper and vellum. I really do. This looks super good when you're putting things down. I might... Oops. Might go for the white. Mix it in. And let's go. And I love it. So there's tracing paper. And what I like to use as well, guys, um, go back to the darker blue. Give it a bit of a blend. Because I don't want to overload it, right? Because it takes a while to dry. And there you go. 
I'm doing circles at the minute because they are easy to do, right? You're just twirling your brush. There you go. I might get some dark ones happening. I really love the dark. Dark blues, light blues. See, and just keep making the circles. And I love it, love it, love it, love it. Like I said, I'm just keeping this simple because my body just can't cope at the moment. Unless it's simple. We're at 15 minutes. Um, maybe we can do some circles here. I might mix those colours together. And that's what I do, guys. I mix together. You know, I don't worry about the colour. I don't care if it gets muddied because it just looks good anyway when it dries. In fact, you get a really nice... Um, oops. I'm not, I'm not close enough and I can't bend. Oops, oops, oops. All right. Now, maybe we might do a couple here. Just so we don't waste this blue. I need, I want to use blue, but I want to use other colours too. But it doesn't matter if I don't do that today. I'm going to show you what I do next with my watercolours. I might go that bit darker in these. See how I just sort of scribble around them? And it just gives you a really nice effect. Whoops. See the drier brush is better. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Alrighty. Squares work on that as well. Tissue paper works, guys. I'm not going to do them because I've done them before. So I'm just going to let these dry. And we're going to utilise the ones I've got completed. Oh, love the blues. Oh, not keeping it easy. Alrighty. <clears throat> Oh, I'm, where's my finished piece of tape? I've done these, but I drew around them with paint, right? It's a bit hard doing it with paint, but I've got them. And that's paint, that's paint, but I thought we might use, now what did I do with them? Uh, uh, uh. Where's the tape? There's my tape piece we need it and what we're going to use what do i do with it because paints are hard oh here they are i'm going to use these uni pens um I'll just see i like i like them sticking out ooh, ooh, ooh. let's see which ones oh that's too skinny I love the pens, guys. Um, that's too skinny too. I should be checking what size they are, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, they'll do. And I love them. I actually, it's too thin for me. Too thin. Ah, oh, this one's better. Uh, oops. Oops. These are a little bit sticky, these washi bits. I didn't stamp on them. Anyway, 
we won't stress it out, right? Look how cool they look. So this one's number, I don't know. I can't see, guys. Oh, 0 0.8. 0 0.8. Yeah, so I'm going to see... They were paints. How it works on this. Oh, yeah, that's cool. No, that doesn't like it. I might be on the outside, maybe. No, doesn't like it. Uh, whoops. Whoops. It's got to dry. Hang on a minute. Actually, I'll move it to there and it can hang there. Okay. Let's try the white one. And this we won't be able to see good. Oh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. I've got my... Hang on, where's my black paint? Black paint... I've got black paint in here, guys, and I like using this, but it takes ages to dry. But I like the look of it. Oops. All right. There you go. You can buy these ready-made up in art shops. I somehow did it myself by getting trying to get paint in the bottle and I watered it down. But I like it. How cool is that? And can you imagine it on the tea stained pages when I'm done? How cool it's going to look. Whoops. I'm trying to not squeeze too hard because they do come out hard if you're not careful. But I like it. And then we'll try it on books, uh, on my um, book pages so you can see. Have I got any done? I think I have. I've got lots done actually still, but I was running out of the blue. You can draw with pencil on book pages. There's the washi. There it is in the white. There it is. That's actually um, the gel pen. So there's the washi. Um, there's tissue paper, guys. I don't know how good this will work on tissue paper, but we can try it. I mean, tea paper. Tea paper. Oh, yeah. I like it. I'll try it on that, and I'll get some book pages that I've done. So you can see it on tea. So we'll put that aside to dry. And let's get my swatches. These are book pages. That have been done a while ago, guys. I've got plenty. <gasps> plenty, plenty, plenty. Now, a gel pen should work on these. Oh, not gel pen. The ink pen. What's wrong with this? Oh, yeah, it's working now. On the outside of it. All right. And I just love the effects. This is very old paper, so I've just got to be careful, right? It works on it. Like so. And let's try the white. I love the gel pen. Oop, 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 oop. Look at the gel pen. It just highlights it like it, you wouldn't believe. Or you can use a pen.
Mm. Or you can use black lead. And I think I've done these, but you can see I just go like so. And it makes a difference, guys. It literally does. Um, oh, hang on. Here's this one I done. And we'll do um, that I done with this. And I, I love this, right? It's just my favourite thing to do with paint. Literally. Oops. You just got to be weary when you crash, right? Because <laughs> I do crash. But I hope this has given you some ideas to outline your um, swatches. Might put some white on these, hey? Let's see what the white looks like. I just love mucking around, guys, you know. Well, anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the series of... 100 day project I have and I've enjoyed each and every one of you don't forget I've got a giveaway journal for junk journal July oh look at the white look at that white I love it I love it That tape should look really good once it's dry and we do this. But um, it won't be dry for a while, so it doesn't matter. I just think these swatches look cool. They look cool. I love these black with the white around them, I tell you. I've got my little journal there, and I don't think I've got anything around it, so we might put something around it to outline it, right? Oh, it's cool. I'm going to have a look. The paint ones take a while to dry, but that's okay. These are going to come in handy for Junk Journal July. How cool are they? Oh, I like it. I like it. All right. I want to see how it... Should I do white? Nah, I'm going to do black. I'm going to do black, guys. There's the cover of my journal for Junk Journal July. Oops. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is um, actually glassine, not glassine, a uh, vellum. How cool does that look? Now, I might do some of these bottom ones. Um, look at the difference it makes. Doesn't matter if, if it's not completely covered. Holy moly, they're cute. I'm not an artist, guys, or anything like that. I just like Mark Hanna around. They look cool. Pencil looks good, but I don't reckon it pops it out, right? I'll do these two and I'll find that tape. Where did I put it? Oh, here. That we made. See, on paper, the paint dries quicker. But look at that, guys. I haven't done anything to that. I've got plenty anyway. But... Look at that. How cool is that? We made swatch washi. We made 
those. Well, I didn't do it on the thing, but I did that with the gel pen, right? Let's do with the uh, paint on top of it and see how cool it looks. And this is old book pages. This is 200 year old book pages, guys. When it's dry, you can, because the gel paint doesn't, I mean, the gel pen doesn't um, pop out. Oh, that looks good. You just can't squeeze it too tight. That's all if you buy these bottles. And the only place I know you can get them from is the art shop. And I believe they are watered down paint. Oops. Oh, they look gorgeous. These old book pages, my golly gosh, guys. Oh, I love them. So come back and see me tomorrow, guys, for the 100 day. And, oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm just so looking forward to Junk Journal July. But we're going to be doing, look at that, pops off. And that's that 100-year-old paper. Um, like I said, we've got the giveaway journal for after the July project. There's that with the gel pen. That's with the, the paint. But I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. That's my favourite. Look at that. Wait till I do the other one. And look at that. It pops it off the page. But anyway, guys, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining me today. Thank you. And take care. And I hope you make some with tape, stamped and tea stained. I didn't stain these. I mean, ink stained. I stained it with the ink, the other one. I've got to wait for it to dry before I do anything with it. But thank you all. Take care and um, see you tomorrow. Bye. Look at me. <laughs> Bye.